Hello, it's Rick Bo. I'm on, out here working on my Hustler Raptor today. I've been noticing when I'm mowing that I've started to hear some noise coming from my spindles. And so I've taken the belt off the deck and when you spin these you can hear them. It's this one and the center one. Let me go to the other side. This one here is really quiet and smooth. So I'm just going to replace the left side two uh, spindles. I'm, I've got a rebuild kit for them. It's got all the bearings in it, the sealed bearings. And I'm going to, I'm just going to rebuild these two. Then I'll have I'll have to, it, it came as a kit it had six bearings in it so I'll have a two extra for the other one if it ever goes bad or when it goes bad. But uh, this is not too bad to take apart. It just it gets a spacer than the pulley. Another spacer. And you just tighten this down. I was worried that it was going to be a press fit or something, but it's not. It's just a, it just comes right off. And then I've got to take these four bolts off. And I'll be able to get the spindle off. That's where I got them from. I ordered them through Amazon. And they are a six pack rebuild kit Raptor SD Big Dog RNC series HD I think they're about 50 a little bit under $60 and it's supposed to be a heavy duty bearing with, with some high temperature grease in it I don't know if it's got any part numbers on it Probably something you could get down at the bearing supply. 6205 RS. I guess that could just be a seal number. They look like the right ones. Let me just figure out how to get these old ones out. Thank you. 
two washers in a nut. They're nine sixteenths. We got one left to go. See if I can work this snap ring out of here with my utility knife. It's pretty loose in there. I ought to be able to get it out. Yeah, that come up pretty easy. And then the spindle just slides right out. It's got a spacer in there to keep the right distance between the bearings. Now I got to See what holds these bearings in. We'll get my bearings and see. They didn't come with any instructions. Just kind of figuring out as I go. I think this bearing is going to push right out. I'm tapping on it with this little punch. It's already moved a little bit. all the way through and get right on the bearing. You see it's coming out. If you had a press it'd probably be better but I don't want to take it to work tomorrow. I'd rather do it tonight. So that one goes in there and it has a stop right there so you can't put it in there too far. I don't know if the top one's got a stop or not but it it can't go so far because it's got this spacer. I don't think that one's too bad. I think it's this bottom one that's got a rough place in it. I've got a hundred and... Let's see. I don't remember exactly how many hours I've got on this thing. 125 hours. Yeah, I've got a hundred and...
I don't know what the normal lifespan of these bearings are, but $60 is not too bad to fix them. I think each one of these spindles on Amazon was $58 a piece or $55 a piece. So I'm doing all of them for the price of one already built spindle. Yeah, that's the bad one. goes yeah it's got to stop in there too so now I just need to put the new bearings in I've got that one back together the next one I gotta do is right here I think I'm gonna drop the deck to get to it Pull these, these six pins you gotta pull. Got a amber alert. Okay, then I got a with this locator. Now the deck should should be loose. Wow, <laughs> easy. Okay. Thank you. 
guess take it out of take it out apart. Got this bungee here on the shoot. Now Easy. Now I, now I can get to that one. Kind of get this all cleaned up too while I got it off. And I got a block of wood under there. See that one's real quiet. That one's quiet now that I got it rebuilt. That one's noisy. I'm gonna try to rebuild it with the spindle still on the deck might be easier Let me give that a try all we have to do is take this this little clip out of here it's not very tight Just keeps this thing from falling out once you get that pulley off. I better put that up there. No, this thing should just all pull out. A little bit of moisture in there. Okay, so now I can take my little punch here and hammer and knock those bearings out. They really aren't in there that tight.
And there's that bearing. Yeah. Pretty noisy. And then I can take the take the spacer out. It's the spacer that goes between the two bearings. <clears throat> and let me knock this one out. Just kind of going around evenly so I don't get it in there cockeyed. Yeah, that was bad too. They're not loose, they just make a lot of noise. Okay. Now, I'm just kind of clean this up. that bearing it basically just pushes in there and I gotta make sure I don't forget the spacer And then put the top bearing in. And the other one, this one was not as easy to go in. But I did get a I did get a little driver. That's the same size as the outer race, so I'm not pushing on any of the roller bearings. Now, I'll tap that in with this. Let me set that right here. That one just sits a little bit below flush. Okay, now I gotta take the the blade and the shaft. And make sure they're clean.
Okay. Now I need to put my snap ring back on. together while you're putting the uh, pulley back on it. Okay. You got one spacer. And the pulley. Another spacer. And then the bolt. And it's pretty easy. I wouldn't have taken this one apart if I would have known it was so easy to do on the, the deck off. Now I just got to tighten that down. Okay, that sounds a lot better. There, I'll have a nice quiet deck again. And I'll have a set of bearings left over for this one, whenever it starts making noise, there's no use in changing it now because it's nice and tight and real quiet. And I've rebuilt these two for the cost of just one spindle. There's no need in buying new spindles, but there's nothing wrong with those. So anyway, I'm going to put this back together. We'll talk to y'all next time.